Hey everybody, it's the Ionic Guy here. And today I'm in the front seat of my car because today we're talking about floor mats. So Wooey V just sent me their newest version of their all weather floor mats for the Hyundai Ionic 5. And today I'm gonna show them off to you guys and let you know my thoughts on them. So as you guys can tell, I've moved on from t-shirts to long sleeves and that means fall is here in New England. You know what that means, it means snow, slush, it's all on the way. So if you need all other floor mats before the winter time, stay tuned because we're gonna find out if the Wooey V floor mats are worth your money. I also just got word from Wooey V that they're gonna give away five trunk liners to some of my lucky viewers. So if you wanna find out how to win, stay tuned to the end of the video. So unlike Best EV Mods floor mats, which utilize the specific shaped grommet that attaches to the floor anchors in the Ionic 5, the Wooey V floor mat actually uses just a circular opening, which I actually find to be easier to use when putting the floor mats in and out. At first I was like, why didn't they spend the time and money to get the correct fittings for the car? But I now realize that this is a lot easier than the other styled hooks. So just like with any other floor mat, you're just gonna slip it in up top, push it down, and engage that hook, engage this hook, and it's secured, simple as that. So as you can see, the floor mats are a pretty good fit. You can see that they are broken up across the center of the car with a bias towards the driver, so I kind of like that because you're more often than not going to be taking out the driver's side for cleaning, more so than the passenger side, depending on your situation, but I drive more alone than I do with a passenger, so it only makes sense that you should make the driver's side of the car easier to remove. You can see that these mats utilize just a plain old circular opening versus a rectangular opening that fits properly over these, these studs. But in day-to-day -day operation, it's much easier to pull these ones off than the correct shaped studs. So I actually prefer just the round openings over the rectangular ones. And you can see fit along the edge of the door is nice and tight. On the dead pedal, there is a little bit of squishiness. It's not a perfect fit. It could be a little bit better. Going along underneath the pedals, which is where you're gonna feel it the most, it's pretty tight. So the dead pedal does have a little bit of give, but underneath the pedals where your feet are gonna be most of the time and moving around, you're not gonna really feel much there. Unlike Best EV floor mats, this has a nice long raised lip and the entire basin of the floor mat is enclosed. So any slush or water that gets in here isn't gonna go spilling out over the interior of your car. So I do like that and props to Wooey V for giving us that. Over on the passenger side, pretty much the same story. Got your raised lip. The fit is pretty good. There is a little bit of a gap here under the lower center console, but I won't fault them too much for that because it does make it easier to pull the mat out when it's not completely tight up against that. So all in all, I think front seat you got some good protection with these floor mats. They're a really nice thick material, rubberized. They offer a decent amount of traction. They have a nice straight line texture on them, which isn't offensive. And I think they look really nice for the price point. The fit in the back seat is nice and tight. You can see it goes all the way up to the edge here. Pretty good and tight. Now the back mats do not have the holes that grab onto the floor studs. They have this little raised indentation that fits over it which I think works fine. It's not gonna shift around on that, so I think that's a perfectly fine option back here. And you can see, seated behind myself here, how they look with my feet in place. Look pretty good. So in terms of rear seat passengers and how their feet should uh, fit in these, uh, you can see at six foot two, my feet do fit nicely within the boundaries of that outside lip. So whatever's coming off my shoes should be collected. If I were to put my feet a little bit further forward though, they would 
start dropping some liquid and whatever underneath the seat itself. So that's not ideal. It kind of would have been nice had they brought the lip all the way out to the edge. So I think all in all, it's not too big of a deal back here. I think it should work perfectly fine. So here you can see the Wu EV trunk liner, same pattern as the interior. Got a raised lip all the way around the edge. And it's fairly high too, at least on the sides and the back. So you will see there is a little bit of waviness to it. It's been on the cooler side, so this hasn't been in there long enough that it's completely settled out into a nice flat surface, but over time it should conform to the flatness of the trunk area. And if you do want your floor mat to get nice and flat, you can always just lay it out on a flat surface in the sun and that'll definitely help. Something you will notice is that if you use the cargo hooks in the back seat, you're going to need to cut these indentations out in order to gain access to them. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So I've got here just a sharpened knife and I'm just going to go ahead and cut through this. And you can see it cuts through it pretty easily. Not too difficult. simple as that. It is a plastic, it's not a rubber, so it does cut a lot easier than a rubber would. So there you have it. There's my impression of the all-weather Wu EV floor mats. I think they're a great option, but I think these are a much cheaper, better all-around option versus WeatherTech. Um, I think WeatherTech are overpriced for what they are, so I think these are a good budget buy compared to WeatherTech. Still waiting on the tux mats, I want to get the tux mats because those have been my go-to floor mats for a few years now with all my previous cars. But the Wu EV floor mats get a thumbs up from me. So for a chance to win one of five trunk mats, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite thing about the Hyundai Ioniq 5 is. And a week from today, I will pick five people at random. And as long as they're subscribed and left a comment, you'll get a trunk mat free of charge. And don't worry, for those of you who don't win, Woo EV has also given me a coupon code to use indefinitely for 10% off all of their products. So if you don't win and you want to buy the products, you can go ahead and use code IONICGUY10 for 10% off your total order. So as always, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. So if you're anything like me, you are probably disappointed after you purchased your Hyundai Ioniq 5 and realized that there was no overhead storage for your sunglasses. So I solved that problem with the Hyundai Ioniq 5 Magnetic Eyewear Holder. It simply clips onto the magnetic area next to the driver display and your sunglasses go right onto it. These are 3D printed in PETG and will not soften in the heat of your car. They utilize a one and a quarter inch rare earth magnet that keeps them securely on your dashboard and a strip of Velcro protects the frames of your glasses. These will work well with thick plastic frame glasses, such as Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but not so much with wire frame glasses like Aviators. These are available for $20 plus shipping at the link below in white or black. Thanks for checking them out.